When you looked into the stands and at the tailgate tonight, how did you feel? Oh, excited. And, and um, you know, I, I've been um, coaching football games here at Tarleton for a good many years. And um, our fans, uh, you know, they never, they never surprised me. They, they're, they're some of the best in the whole country. Um, they always come out so supportive. Uh, we're very thankful for the Stephenville community, for, for uh, the Tarleton community, and just the way, the way that our, our fans support us. And because uh, there's a lot of places out there across the country that don't, that don't get very good support. We are truly blessed. Get on to the field and uh, the game ends in a 39-39 tie. I feel like that would, maybe was planned the whole way. Maybe not. I don't know. But but both sides, you know, had their their high moments and the, and uh, it was fun to watch both the offense and the defense. What were your thoughts on the game itself? Well, you know, I thought I thought there were some high points on both sides. Um, I thought our defense did a really good job of not giving up big plays. I thought we had some. Uh, Really nice plays in the secondary, breaking up, breaking up some throws. Um, I thought our backs ran hard on the offensive side. The, the truth is, right now we've got about seven really, really solid offensive linemen, probably. Um, and um, um, we we had you know several guys out with injury, and so when you get the second group in there, there's a big drop off, and it, and it, and it becomes. Uh, harder and so and we challenge those guys in the second group you know every day uh, a lot of opportunity for guys to step up and and, I, and hopefully we'll look at the film and find out but uh, we played mostly young guys today uh, we had some young receivers make some catches some young quarterbacks make some good throws I thought uh, kind of decided at the last minute not to not to let those guys be live uh, but I've been very pleased with our quarterbacks through spring camp and so uh, you know, I don't think we threw an interception today, did we? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Did we have a turnover today? Um, I don't believe so, no. I don't believe we did. So that's a good place to start, um, you know, from an offensive standpoint. I think our defense only gave up one touchdown. So a lot of, I think there were a lot of positives. Um, we had one, one guy come out with a sprained ankle. And so I'm not sure how many snaps we took. But, you know, given, given the, the great crowd and, and – uh, we had a lot of guys, former players back. It was great to see them. I think it was just a really, really nice day. And, and you know, I, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. And, and uh, it's nice to have um, uh, some Tarleton football in the spring. Um, I think that was an excellent uh, uh, idea. And, you know, we're only going to improve on, on this spring game. And so hopefully next year we'll be a little more healthy. Our numbers will be a little better. We'll have – kind of a more traditional game. And so, um, you know, all the way around, I think it was it was really, really a good day. Visiting with the head coach of your Tarleton Texan football team, Todd Witten, after the purple and white spring game, a tie between the defense and the offense, 39 all. Let me ask you this, you know, with the new defensive core coordinator coming in in Tyrone Nix, and then us talking before the game, our visit, our interview, you know, the, the word that you used for your defensive line at the time was decimated. And, of course, in the secondary, in the back end, you lose guys like, you know, Trey Johnson and Devin Hafford, right? And and so I expected after visiting with you for the offense to, to really move the ball pretty easily. But that wasn't the case today. That was surprising to me. Did you feel like the defensive defense played well and, and maybe a little better than you thought it would today? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the case. And usually when you – as you go through spring ball – it kind of comes back and forth and, you know, you, you go out and practice against one another for 14 practices. One day the offense gets a little bit ahead. The next day the defense does. And so uh, I thought today in most regards, I thought the defense was on top of things and came out at a little bit ahead. Uh, it's hard to say about that scoring system, exactly how it works, but probably when we grade the film, we'll come out of that uh, with, with the defense probably outplaying the offense. So, but, but a lot of a lot of good things, and that's certainly good to see. Um, so um, we've got a lot of our a lot of our regular uh, defensive guys that, that played a lot of football around here are out healing up, and sure. um, so we'll, especially across our defensive front. And, and we we didn't have our two start linebackers uh, really for most of the spring. Neither one of them played today. So um, you know, I think. 
we've got a chance, I think, to have a have a good football team. We've got to have a really good summer. Uh, we've, we're going to add a few recruits uh, to this group over the, the next month. And um, uh, we've just got to keep working really, really hard. You know, we've got a really tough schedule ahead of us. But uh, I think this football team will be improved.